check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. If we could do one full circle. Uh, 
Uh, yesterday when I rode, um, Wagala had a little bit of a meltdown again. It didn't last a long time, but it, it's still there. So I want him to be able to go forward, but I also need to have some control, for obvious reasons, um, and to be able to check him when he starts to get a little hysterical. So we brought out another tool that we've used before, and I'd like to be able to just get him to see that he can go forward, he can canter, he can stay in frame, um, and he can reach down. So I want him to be able to reach down and relax in the canter, and I can't get him there if all he's doing is panicking and running off. So I'm just bringing out a different tool to see if this can help me, um, help him understand uh, what it is I'm asking and what he should be doing. For him, this is a, a way that I can have some control because he's a lot stronger than I am. And that's something that I've just struggled with is that he's much stronger than I am and he has more leverage than I do. So anyway, we're gonna continue on with our training. See if we can get past the bracing and the negative behavior, the negative feedback loop. Trot, trot. No, no rushing, no rushing. No, no rushing. No, no rushing. No, no rushing. Just trot, just trot. Here, counter flexed. It's because you're tense. So you're counter flexing. There we go. Good. Good. Boy. Nope. Good boy.
he's swapping leads there. He's hysterical now, so let me get him back. Walk, 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 walk. Good, walk. Good, walk, 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 walk. Come on. Walk. Good, good. recovery and good work because um, I had the draw range so I could keep him steady. I think uh, between this and uh, the round pen work, I think this is what we're going to do for a little bit until we get him understanding because a lot of this is just confusion and then frustration. So <clears throat> we need to try to get past the confusion and frustration. So when I'm asking, I'm squeezing with my legs for trot, he's thinking canter. So he's, he's not listening to the aid, he's just reacting, trying to guess what I want rather than listening to the aids. So I have to break this feedback loop that he's got going on in his mind about what I'm asking and try to change it up. and get the canner that's nice and low and stretching and leave it, no transitions, um, not until he's more comfortable with just cantering on an aid because he doesn't understand and then he panics and runs off and uh, we get all that behavior. So. But um, very productive session. Um, he recovered within a couple minutes and then I was able to get my leg on so I can tell when he's He's still hysterical because I try to put my leg on. He starts that cantering, jumping and hopping down, up and down in the front. Um, once I can put my leg on and then actually move his body without him reacting ridiculously, then I know, you can see here, how soft he becomes. So that's when I know he's relaxed. So it's just a matter of getting the confusion and the tension out so that way I have access to his brain so that way he can listen for the aids but uh, very nice and teach him what it is I'm trying to get him to do because as long as he's running off and, and I have no control, he's learning the bad things. So far he's been giving me the wrong answer, so then today I was able to reward him by giving me the right answer. So it's going to need a lot more repetition of getting the right answer.